welcome to uh, this series which is entitled Understanding Scripture. And today we'll be looking at the origin of Scripture. But before we start, I'll ask my brother uh, to give us an opening prayer. Okay, let's close our eyes and pray. Our Father, what in heaven, thank you Lord for the day that you've given us to come and stand your word. Open our hearts, open our minds, so that we understand you much more. In the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Um, my name is Wilson Zunye, and uh, I am joined by my, by my brother here, Elder Tinashe Karichi. We'll be looking at the origin of scripture. Where does the Bible come from, essentially? And uh, what, I, what I want to start is with is, if you notice in the Bible, there's no word written Bible in the, in the Bible itself. That word Bible is not there. Uh, there are other words that are used in it, like scriptures. Mm -hmm. Those are words that are used. But essentially, where did we get the word Bible? Uh, we see that it comes from the from the Latin, uh, Biblia, which is Greek. And uh, we find that this Greek word Biblia or, or is essentially it means that um, it's little books. And these little books, that word little books is also derived from Biblas, mm -hmm. the word Biblas, which is also Greek which essentially means uh, writings on small pieces of material. Mm -hmm. So in terms of the Bible, who, who actually wrote the Bible? Uh, the Bible was written by different men, mm -hmm. just men like us. Some were kings, some were princes, some mm -hmm. were prophets, some were just ordinary men. Mm -hmm. Then they were inspired by God to bring a message to different mm -hmm. uh, people so that everyone is, is reached by, by the gospel itself. Mm -hmm. yes. So they were inspired by God. They were inspired by God. Mm -hmm. let, let, let me read the scripture. Mm -hmm. uh, Second Timothy chapter 3, verse 16, it says, All scripture is given by inspiration of God. Then also Second Peter 1, 21, it says, For the prophets came not in all time by the will of men, but holy men of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. So it was the Holy Ghost who moved people to write the word. So that it can come to us. Mm -hmm. So these were different authors or different yes. people who wrote the book yes. inspired by the Holy Ghost yes. or the Holy Spirit. Yes, and their message, if you check, they are different people, mm -hmm. but their message is the same. Like when you go and look at Moses, Moses spoke about the Christ who was to come. Mm -hmm. When you go to Isaiah 9 verse 6, Isaiah prophesies about Christ. When you go to Psalms, David talks about Christ. When you go to Malachi, all of them, they are talking about Christ. So they, they were different people, mm -hmm. but their message was coming from one source. Mm -hmm. That's why you don't see contradictions within the Bible itself. I see. So different people, but speaking the same language. Yes. yes. Because it's coming from one God. Yes. What is the purpose then of the Bible? Why do we have it? The Bible came so that we can know who God is. God wrote the Bible so he can reveal his character to us, so that we know our, 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 where we are coming from, where we are today, and where we are going to be. So it's the present, it's the past, and the future. And he tells us how we are going to know God more on how he is to us. Mm -hmm. Yes, I see. Um, and then we also read in the Bible, Jesus Christ having died for us. Yes. Does that also have a part to play in the story that's... I mean, the emphasis or the reason why the Bible is written is it for us also to have known why Christ died for us? Yes. The, if we if we if we didn't have the Bible, we'd never understand why Christ died for us. We'd just think maybe it was just a human being from this area who just died. Mm -hmm. But now the Bible came to emphasize to us that sin came into the world and Christ was supposed to come and redeem us and be the second Adam so that we can be replaced to a portion that way we were before sin came into the world. So the Bible is there to explain and emphasize more on how we are supposed to understand the love of God and why Christ came down to die for us. So we tells us why sin came and why Christ came. Yes. Does that mean it has it can help us in our in our struggles? Definitely it will because that's the way God speaks to us. Mm -hmm. You know, we speak to God through prayer, but God speaks to us through His Word. Mm -hmm. Actually, Christ in Matthew chapter 4, verse 4, He says, Men shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Mm -hmm. So, which means the Word of God is the one that makes us live, that makes us grow and understand God. So, if we don't have the Word, then we are not going to have a relationship with Him because we will not know His character, because His character is shown to us through His Word. Wonderful, wonderful. So those are the basically, that's basically the reason why the Bible was written. Yes. Is according to Second Timothy chapter 3, verse 16. It's for our 
improve, correction, yes. Yes. teach. Yes. So there's multiple function, mm -hmm. which is all good, and it's for the benefit of glorifying God at the end of the day. Yes. Thank you very much for that. And that is the end of uh, this episode entitled uh, The Origin of Scripture. And until next time, have a blessed day.